Columbus officer fired after excessive sex acts on duty at Kroger. Just a couple off the top of my head, there was the cop that locked himself in the back of his own police cruiser to have sex with a three. He resigned. Then there was the Nashville police officer that got caught filming OnlyFans while on duty. They went to his house to arrest him. They did not give him a chance to turn himself in for fear that he might bang another woman on his way to the precinct. What is recruiters telling these kids instead of offering them coffee and donuts that they'll be able to lay everything the light touches? A Columbus officer, oh, Ohio, Florida's degenerate cousin, has lost his job after engaging in sexual acts multiple times while on duty at a local grocery store, according to the division's chief. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant spoke with NBC4 on Friday, where she disclosed she terminated Officer Robert Spann for actions while on special duty at an unspecified Kroger in the area. Special, all right. A document dated for Tuesday detailed Bryant made the decision to fire him for violating the division's rules of conduct with consensual sexual activity with the store employee. He was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. Bryant had been notified by the Columbus Inspector General's office about a complaint filed against Spann in October. Oh, Bobby. Bobby, 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 I know those Central Ohio women are tempting to touch, but you gotta keep your nightstick in your pants, buddy. All I have to say is Michigan would never. He was caught on camera doing some sexual acts and it was an excessive amount of times. Bryant said, I want to believe at least nine times. Well, to some people, nine times is a lot. Some people, nine times is not a lot. That's subjective. That was caught on camera and when that was brought to the Inspector General's attention regarding an investigation, they in turn contacted us. Bryant said, that she and the inspector general's office deliberated on whether or not there would be a criminal investigation against spam but the store played a role in the decision as well. Once it was determined that it was not going to be criminal because Kroger chose not to prosecute, it was then investigated by the Inspector General Bryant said the recommendation was made that there be discipline regarding what he did. It was brought to our attention. It came here and ultimately we made the decision that he should be fired. Here's my line of thinking. If you're a police officer, if you're a legit cop and you're assigned to work at a goddamn Kroger, you're already in purgatory. What more could it hurt your career to bang a couple deli tech Technicians, a few cash years while they're counting out their registers. That's the true definition of service. Director of Public Safety Kate Pashati, whether an officer is on duty being paid by the taxpayers of Columbus or a private special duty entity, they represent this division and are expected to conduct themselves accordingly. Pashati wrote, screw you, it's Kroger. Officer Spann's conduct violated his oath and his duty to serve and brought dishonor to the division of police. His inappropriate conduct while in a uniform capacity neglected his responsibility Abilities. The kind of behavior demonstrated here is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. This is the same Columbus Police Department rampant with drug dealing cops in 2021. Two narcotics detectives were arrested for distribution of fentanyl. And in connection to those detectives, two more officers were arrested earlier this year for stealing kilos of cocaine from drug dealers and putting them back on the streets to sell. So I can see where an officer stationed in a Kroger nailing an employee would really cross the line with you. Statement from Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant. When you have 2,000 plus employees, there's going to be a couple of people that may do things that are not best for the agency or that may even exceed to criminal conduct, Bryant said. But the majority of our officers are out here doing some phenomenal work and somewhere in there, I would like to believe that's true, have great relationships with our community and I really want people to know that we are focused on making sure that we support our officers, that we encourage them, that we get them the best training and that we continue to build those bridges in our community. There you have it, kids. Officer Bobby Spann, your supermarket sex addict. Find him wherever they sell frozen foods.